Hey guys, uh, Vigo here, Cham, New York. I got a Saranac Legacy IPA 2.0. I uh, just cracked it open. It's not true, I had a couple sips, but uh, just take four. So, pretend it's the first time. I can give you a little taste test. It's a pretty basic IPA, if that's what you're into. Um, yeah, so that's the that's the grog. Now the game. So you know, I grew up doing a little fishing, but wouldn't really describe myself as a fisherman, and I definitely don't hunt. Um, but with this whole Corona situation, I came back from a school in the city, decided to get a rod, and uh, now I'm totally hooked in in all senses of the word. Um, so yeah, so J Jared and I, buddy of mine. Um, He's into fishing, he's into hunting, and now he's in the grog. Maybe you guys have heard of him. But uh, we are going to do a little trout fishing out over in the Housatonic River. He had some spot there. Uh, shout out to Mike Hayes for showing us it. Um, and I had just gotten this uh, Mystery Tackle Box uh, Trout Edition. Panfish and Trout. You guys should check it out if you haven't yet. It was five bucks. Got a ton of... Uh, jigs and uh, you know soft plastics that I was really excited about to use um, and we spent a couple hours out there and just caught absolutely nothing just a ton of snags lost you know half of those lures I came with which is all right um, and I lost that line too so you know I only had by the end maybe uh, five yards of line left maybe less metrics aren't very good for me dyslexic um, Anyway, yeah, so we decided to call it quits, and we head back to the car, and then we decided, you know, we would throw a couple couple casts off the shore by the car, see what happens. Um, you know, I had such little line that every time I was casting out, I was, uh, the, the lure is just uh, flying back at me. Um, I was had a little uh, eagle claw, crappie, uh, black and gold jig on 10 pound fluorocarbon. Um, yeah, and then towards the, 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 I'd say last cast of the day, just monster hit. You know, no way it was a crappie. It was, it was a trout, it was it was a big trout. Um, you know, I'm absolutely screaming. I'm just excited, totally ecstatic. You know, it's the biggest fish I've been dealing with was maybe, you know, largemouth bass this size, nothing much. Um, but I knew it wasn't a crappie and I had that little jig on there and that, that uh, light line so I was really scared of losing it. Um, I ended up bringing it in and it was uh, like a two foot pike. I was totally pumped. Um, but uh, you know I had heard they had sharp teeth and I was pretty scared. I, I thought maybe they, they would bite me or something so you know, I was asking Jared what I should do. And uh, the thing gets off the, it breaks, snaps the line, and lands on the shore. You know, maybe this far off the water. I just jumped down and grabbed it. And as soon as I had that fish in my hands, I was just totally electric. Um, couldn't have been more excited. And uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's a pretty. Uh, weird time it's a lot of isolation and uh, loneliness but I don't know I found a lot of I found fishing I never done that before and um, it's a great way to spend time with yourself or even one other person and you know you need six feet just to cast so it's uh, it's been great for me to get outside especially coming from New York so yeah uh, cheers <laughs> 